Yeah. Wow. Ladies of South Africa, look out. Danny Trevanyan is the, uh, the head of the family. Came over to South Africa three years ago with uh, the idea of, of bonding this quite dysfunctional family unit um, because two of the children belong to his second wife, Sarah, and he has a grown-up daughter. And they came out to South Africa for a sort of bonding holiday that turned into uh, Anders Duplessis inviting them to stay and turn Leopards Den into a, a natural game reserve. So over the years that they've been there, Danny's uh, veterinary skills with the wild animals has improved so much that they've, they've built um, an animal hospital which will serve uh, a, sort of a larger radius in the community, uh, which means a lot more work for Danny. I'm not so sure. It's one thing to observe her from here, but to examine her close up. At least give it a go. One step at a time. If you won't, I will. My name is Luke, and I play Evan in Wild at Heart. He's, I'd say, a troubled teenager. His hormones are raging all over the place. You can't do this. You said yourself the only way to save her is to find out what the poison is. Yeah, but you can't go and confront him. If he's listened to his radio, he'll realise who we are. But she's dying. We can't just let that happen. All right. Duplessis is a, a chap who's lived on the land all his life. Uh, the farm has belonged to his family for 100 years. And his wife died a few years ago, well, quite a few years ago, and he's just been sitting around for the last goodness knows how long. And then the Trevanians arrive and Danny's a vet, so he asks him to stay and help with the animals. And um, there you are, Bob's your uncle, they stay. And that's sort of the basic story. <laughs> She doesn't look happy. She's going to attempt to. No, 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 stay where you are. He knows what he's doing. Hello, girl. That elephant has flipped cars over. It could kill him. He knows that. Well, I played Georgina who is Caroline's sister. Um, Caroline, of course, is Haley Mills. And um, I, as Caroline was back in London, she sent me over here to keep an eye on her fiancé, Duplessis, who's a bit of a trouble, troublesome <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> so uh, I've been working now, well, this season, I uh, will, will have done eight episodes, so I've... I've come in full tilt, <laughs> actually. This can only end badly! Sure, we'll just have to agree to disagree on that point. Duplessis! I play the money-driven, success-driven, power-hungry Fatani in the show. He works for the neighboring game farm, Mara Lodge, the neighboring farm to Leopard's Den, pretty much. So, these people can either make or break Mara, okay? They're gonna need to be fed, they're gonna need to be watered. If... Homer! <laughs> Homer! I'm a new character to the show. She comes into episode two and appears to be quite the lovely neighbor. She has a daughter of 15, so... Uh, a rather difficult relationship with her daughter, I think, from the outset. Uh, but they don't go into too much detail. So at the beginning, she's just really a very lovely new neighbour. It does change. <laughs> I'm going tomorrow. Well, that place is closed, then. Well, yes, but not for much longer, I hope. Um, I'm Vanessa. I've just bought it. Uh, I play Rowan, and I am the brother of Alice. And I come into the series initially to bring Alice some bad news, some bad family news about our father. And then um, <clears throat> I'm, I realise that she's got a wonderful life here, and um, I decide I want to stay too. You know, I was thinking, there's nothing for me back home now. I might talk to Danny and Doof about staying on here for a while. 
here. I play Dr. Alice Collins, uh, who has just arrived at Leopard's Den to help with a, a rabies outbreak. Um, and she thinks she's only going to stay for a day, but she really doesn't. Turns out it's time for the whole series, <laughs> thankfully for me. Um, yeah, and I have a, a nine-year-old daughter called Charlotte and a very um, mysterious background. Lauren. I've hardly been out of Scotland in my life. I want an adventure. And I want to be with you and Charlotte. You're my family. It's not that, Rowan. I'm moving on from here. Where are you going? Yeah, well, originally I'm from Stockton on Tees, up in the northeast. Um, we never really saw any glamorous kind of animals there. Uh, I then moved to Blackpool where I used to see uh, elephants being exercised on the beach every morning going to school because of the Tower Circus. Uh, but I never dreamed that uh, I would come over here and, and spend such uh, a large amount of time and, and such close proximity with these amazing animals. I, I don't think you really get uh, how these incredible camouflages work until you you're out here seeing uh, the animals in their natural environment and they, they always astonish me. I'm John Coxon. I'm the greensman on this show. What we do, we've been doing it now for about four years, I think it is, season four. What I do is all the natural greenery. I put up all the fencing, I repair the roads, I move trees where they need trees planted. Anything to do with the natural aspects of the movie I try and enhance that with a bit of beauty. Uh, I've been on Wild at Heart since the day they turned soil here, so I've actually seen the series build from the day that we were on the edge of the mountain, looking where to build a house, and it, I've been here ever since. So I feel like part of the furniture. I love Wild at Heart. It's, it's, a, it's a lovely story. It's well written. I love the stories. The, the characters are excellent, and I think it's going to do pretty well. Uh, my name's Nick Godding, I'm the producer. I'll be there to see the blocking of the first scene of the day, chat to the director, chat to various, look ahead to future scripts that are coming in as they come in, and um, join everyone for lunch, discussions of lun at lunch as to how things are going. Um, same in the afternoon, and go down for hopefully the last hours of filming just to check that everything's on course and everyone's happy. And also sometimes um, entertainment's manager, making sure that people feel that they've got a life outside work. My name is Nick Lockland and I'm the director. It means getting up at about half past five uh, and, you finish and start filming at seven and then you finish at six and then I go home and I watch, uh, do a bit of prep for the next day and watch what I shot the previous day on what's known as rushes. Uh, and then uh, hang my head in shame <laughs> and go, how could I have made it better? <laughs> no, 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 cut! <laughs>